I'd like to get this one off by saying Happy Veterans Day, and I would like to give a huge heartfelt thank you to all of the veterans out there and to those of you currently serving. I know I've spoken to a couple of you on the comment section, and I'm always in awe that while I'm sitting here making videos about spiders, you're in sometimes in some inhospitable places basically protecting the freedoms and my rights to do these silly little videos. So please don't think for a moment that Billy and I don't appreciate you all, and we thank you on this Veterans Day. Hey guys, Tom Moran here, about to do, surprise, some more rehousings. I've been doing a lot of rehousings lately, as I've alluded to a couple times already. I'm basically redoing the whole tarantula room, adding in new shelving. I finally settled on some cages I'm going to be using for juvenile arboreals, juvenile terrestrials, and my fossorial species. So for many years, it's been me just experimenting with different cage types, and I'll continue to do so, but now I've got ones that I really, really like, like these up in here, and then these are off camera, but I have these crystal clear acrylic ones I posted about a couple times I'm starting to use now. So now that I know what I'm using, I can measure my shelves and, and install them and not have to worry about changing things all the time. So as a result, I've been doing a lot of rehousings. We have up next is rehousings of my Nandu Colorado Velosus and my Acanthoscuria musculosa. I picked both of these up at Dinky Reptile several months back. I was actually kind of surprised to see them there because it's not species I see around at pet stores very often. But I picked them up as little teeny tiny slings. And now that they're grown up a bit and they're putting on size rather quickly, I've just moved them into the new hinge crystal clear containers that you'll see in a moment. So enough of me talking. Let's get on to the actual rehousing. All right, about to rehouse my Nandu Colorado Velosus. Colorado Velosus? Colorado Velosus. There we go. I haven't practiced that one a lot. Uh, this little guy I got a Dinky Reptile. Same time I got my Sulawesi Black. And you can see it's put on quite a bit of sides. It's grown like a weed. So we're going to get this one into one of these. I get these enclosures off Amazon. I think they come in groups of three, and they're like 20 bucks, but they're so nice. Just know you're going to have to make a couple alterations. One, where the hinges are right in here. They weren't me. With the hinges are right in here, there is a gap, and, and smaller slings can easily get through that, as I unfortunately found out first escape ever from one getting out of the container, and it took me actually a year and a half to figure out what happened, but I didn't cover up the spot, and the thing escaped, so when I opened up, I couldn't find the sling anywhere. I thought it might have died, decomposed. It was bizarre. Come to find out, it probably squeezed right through here. So what I do is cover those up. So if you look here, it just covers that little space right in there so they can't get out and the tape's faced out and I put a little stuff on so it's not tacky and they're hinged a sling really can't pull itself out of here but a little piece of tape over the top just to hold it shut works great and I have a bunch of these they stack beautifully they look really nice and they're good for like two inches two and a half inches for some of these guys so let's see if we can get this one out I love when they put the leaves in here because it makes it so much easier to do this See the little, little gator girl in oh, there. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. We're on top of that so we can see you. There we go. On here. Oh, let me check those blue face. A little more. Now I started with uh, moist substrate with these guys, the slings. Now I've got it about half moist, half not. I will continue to keep it moist as it puts on some size. They seem to appreciate it, but once it gets adult size, I know some people keep them dry. We'll see how it goes. Right now, basically everything under here under the cork bark is nice and moist. Cute little guy, already showing some of those stripes. This one's been a fantastic eater. It did burrow as a sling. Again, it was in this vial here, and it burrowed all the way down, had a pretty pretty extensive burrow down here, and then would come up to hunt. It has since been kind of hanging around up top. Granted, that could be partially because the burrow or the container was too small. So we'll see. I've given it probably about, 
find a cork bark inch and a half of substrate, which will give it some room to dig if it wants to. So there we go. Dogs slurping in the background, of course, because they always drink during these. <laughs> Just never fails. Thanks, Wormy. So Nandu, Colorado Velosis. I don't know what the... It's like the heck with this light. I don't know what the common name is, so I'll put it in the little note section. And another nice and smooth rehousing. All right, up next we have my Acanthoscuria musculosa, or Brazilian black velvet. I got this one at Dinky Reptile and was really excited because I hadn't seen these guys around as I already scraped the price off. Nobody can know what I spend on my spiders. So we're going to go ahead... And this one did some burrowing. It's been growing very, very quickly. When I got it, it was just a teeny tiny thing. We actually had a hard time figuring out where it was in the mess of dirt here. And it's molted, I believe, two times already. It's doing its best to hide. Poke it in the booty and get it out of here. Come on. I'm actually shocked at how quickly this one grew. Oh, it probably looks pretty teeny tiny on the camera. There you go. Hey, hey, go in your home. This one's been a great eater. To start off, it basically stayed in its burrow and it would pop out of its burrow hole and grab ones. It kind of it was a weird type of burrow too. It had two entrances and they were almost all vertical. A bolt like just completely vertical. There you can see it right in there. I'll turn this around a little bit. Beautiful species. You don't see these guys around all that much, so I was really excited to find one. There she is, or he. Hopefully she. Gorgeous little girl with that black mirror patch of hairs on her butt. So these guys, again, eat like machines. They grow quickly. They're kept, I keep them, again, in the 70s or so. I kept the substrate moist. This is actually moist for the time being, but I'll probably let it dry out in between. And these enclosures here are the ones I get. I believe they're mainstay, but I'll put some, actually, these might not be mainstay. I get them on Amazon in packs of three for like $20. I love them. They're hinged. Just be aware that where the hinges are in here, there's a place that is easily wide enough to permit a sling to escape. And unfortunately, we did have one escape. The only time I've ever had this happen in a closure because I didn't notice that. And we put one of the P. Sosme in it, little sling. It disappeared, and it wasn't until, honestly, a year later that I figured out what had happened. And luckily, nobody else had escaped that time. So I put a little piece of black duct, duct tape over both of them. So when you close it, it goes flush. They can't get their little feet caught in there. And then I put a little piece of duct tape over this to hold it shut, although I don't think they can lift this up. But you never know, they're strong. So there we go. Canthoscuria musculosa, or the black velvet beauty, black beauty velvet, black Brazilian black velvet. All right, thanks so much for watching. Uh, before we move on, I just had a couple people comment lately in the comment section, duh my YouTube page and a couple emails about their kids watching my channel, which I absolutely love. Again, I'm a teacher by trade and my thought has always been that if we can reach the children that are just getting into the, you know, get them into the hobby, that's going to be the future of the hobby in many ways because I think we have, there's a stigma to keeping tarantulas and I think a lot of people see us as weird, but the more people we can hook, especially at a young age, it will grow up to be the future YouTubers or the bloggers or whatever, um, the better it is for the hobby. So I'd like to say hi to Jackson, who his father is on my channel and has been commenting a couple times. Apparently they just got there first, so congratulations, guys. And then the next one is Bella Blades, who apparently likes my channel. And Bella, hello. Jackson, hello. Thank you for both of you for watching. I do really appreciate it and I'm so glad I don't bore you guys. It means you guys are into the educational stuff and not just the handling and crazy feeding videos, which is great. So thanks both to Jackson and Bella for watching and uh, feel free to comment anytime or have your parents comment for you because I love hearing from you. So with that said, we are done with this one. I'm going to shut up. If you've never seen any of my videos before, I usually put them here. So I encourage you to check some more out in case this is the first one. Please check some more out. And then if you like it enough that you'd like to subscribe, you can click the button right up around in here. I think I always misjudge it. So as always, love hearing uh, from people. We'll see you on the comment section, I hope. And uh, that's it for now. I'm going to be quiet and go edit this one up.